dear students today i am going to discuss with you a portion on ground improvement technique that is grouting i suggest you to go through my youtube channel and see the other topics related to ground improvement techniques which may help you in the competitive examinations like gate public service examinations etc okay so further i uh, suggest you to subscribe to my youtube channel like and share the video if you if you are interested in let us see the topic grouting is a process of ground improvement attained by injecting fluid like material into subsurface soil or rock grout subsequently hardens increases the strength and decreases compressibility and permeability of subsurface soil or rock you might have seen grouting techniques elsewhere given in your neighborhood or in your house itself if there are cracks on the walls or on the roof or on the on the foundation uh, you might have seen people with a small motor and cement grout injecting this one into the crevices okay that's a small version of grouting in a large huge uh, site this kind of process that is grouting technique is done with heavy machinery okay now let us see the aspects of grouting first one is permeation or penetration grout flows freely with the minimal effect into the soil voids or rock fissures and or seams okay seams means just small cracks okay so Uh, next one is compaction or controlled displacement grout remains more or less intact as mass and exerts pressure on soils and rocks hydraulic fracturing or uncontrolled placement grout rapidly penetrates into a fractured zone which is created when the grouting pressure is greater than the tensile strength of soil or rock being grouted so this is the process by which the uh grout goes into it so it penetrates into the it penetrates into the uh, voids and it settles there it hardens there okay uh so the first one is uh, penetration grouting okay or pen permeation grouting so the grout material permeates into the uh, geo material okay the next one is compaction grouting controlled displacement okay so there with the force of the uh, grout the surrounding soil is compacted okay and a bulb is formed over there next one is hydro fracturing or uncontrolled displacement so because of the enormous energy which is dispersed into the into the voids or crevices or seams or fissures uh, there will be hydro fracturing and the grout which moves into the micro fractures and settles over there which will be sealed okay so that is the process of grout next one is groutability to obtain satisfactory performance grain size distribution should be known because it shall show the relationship between the grout particle and void dimension the pumping pressure should not be large enough for particles of soils to be disturbed so grouting pressure is limited to 20 kN per meter square so which is controlled actually with a motor okay next one is quality of grout must be sufficiently enough the fluid to enter the soil quickly the movement of grout should not be too fast so it will if it goes very fast what happens so it may not settle into the or it may not harden into the uh, into the crevices okay so if it is a fluid like material then it it must be a uh, semi solid uh, colloidal type okay so so that the th this will settle into the into the crevices the rate of injection of grout depends on viscosity of grout permeability of grout shear strength of soil grouting material 
Suspension grafts, multi-phase system, water in association with cement, lime, soil, etc. constitute suspension. I mentioned earlier, it's a, it's a colloidal form. Emulsion with water is also two-phase system included in suspension grafts. Solution graft, one-phase system. Solution in which solute is present in colloidal state is known as colloidal solution. Chemical grafts fall into this category. Okay, chemical grafts. So, there is two-phase system, multi-phase system and one-phase system, single-phase system. So, uh, here in multi-phase system, as I mentioned, there may be many uh, materials combined together. Okay, it's a, it's a compound form. And in the solution grout, there may be only one chemical grout, uh, chemical, which will be dissolved into the water. Okay. Suspension grout, the groutability ratio should be greater than 20. Okay, so it is d10 by d85 formation so actually uh, you can take uh, material from d10 to d15 okay d10 to d15 and you will get a ratio and it should be greater than 20 suspension grafts grafting with soil the grafting ratio should be greater than 20 soil can be used to fill up Voids in coarse grained soils. Very fine grained soils are used as grout. Clay grouts to reduce permeability. Hyalinite and elite based clays. Low viscosity fill filler grouts. Bendonite to control viscosity strength and flow properties. <coughs> Mud jacking to raise pavement slabs to underpin shallow building foundation. Suspension grouts. Grouting with cement. Suitable for cracks or voids wider than 0.2 mm, usually formed from OPC and water. Rapid hardening cement for fissured rocks. So these are uh, different uh, type of material used or cement used for this. Okay, admixtures such as bentonite used to keep the cement particles in suspension. Seepage cutoff for curtain walls beneath dams and groundwater control. Okay, so. These are the uses of grouting with cement, okay? And emulsion grouts or asphalt emulsion. I, anionic or cationic asphaltic globules are manufactured by choosing proper emulsifying agent. Globules, 1 to 2 micrometer diameter along with water used as grout to fill soil voids and rock fissures. Rock fissures of 10 micrometer size and medium silts can be grouted. Slow setting emulsions generally chosen, they travel longest distance. Solution grouts. Chemical grouts like silicates and acrylic resins solidify by chemical reaction, seepage barriers, stabilization of soils around tunnels, principle of injection is permeation grouting. Actually, solution grouts are used for the uh, construction of CPG barriers, stabilization of soils around tunnels. Okay, it is, uh, these grouts solidify uh, by chemical reaction. Okay, so this is actually injected in, in permeation grouting technique. You can see in this schematic, see, so you can see here, so it is grouted portion, this one, and this is under grouting. You see how it is done. And stage by stage it is lifted out okay high pressure hydraulic pump you see I have already told you heavy machinery is used uh, so here uh, we have one shot and two two short systems for gravity uh, so in the schematic it is shown that one short system and two shots you see two different chemicals are mixed together and pumped in the soil okay chemical injection is set up using two chemicals here also but at the same time it is uh, initially it is mixed here and sent to the soil and this one both are separately mixed into the soil two short system okay, all chemicals are injected together okay in one short system two system one chemical is injected followed by the injection of second chemical setting time is controlled by varying the catalyst con concentration according to the grout concentration, water composition and temperature. This is the slowest and it requires high injection pressure and more closely spaced grout holes. Okay. So classification of solution grouts. Aqua solution, colloidal solution, non-aqua solution, emulsion, 
products reacting with others combined systems okay in aqueous solution you get silicate derivatives lignosulfate derivatives acrylamides phenoplast resins colloid solution you get organic and mineral solution in non aqueous solution you get synthetic resin vulcanizable oils bitumen etc then emulsion products reacting with others some uh, different uh, chemical type things and combined system also okay Th that's all from the part one of grouting okay I, I as I have told you uh, it would be better you subscribe to my channel hmm? and uh, there are many videos related to ground improvement techniques as well as geotechnical engineering also okay it may help you in your competitive examinations as well as university examinations thank you very much for listening to me